Milne. Uh, thank you, Mr Acting Deputy President. Uh, I support this being uh, referred to a committee as has been proposed by Senator Conroy. It is absolutely imperative that there is an opportunity to scrutinise what this deal actually does. But I can tell you this, Mr Acting Deputy President, what it does is cast a real blow to every working Australian with their superannuation, because what it is doing is saying, big miners, get out there and, and pop your champagne corks. Clive Palmer has just delivered for himself and for you, for Rio Tinto, for BHP, for all of them, has delivered a mega windfall gain. And if ever there is a conflict of interest, it is this one. How is it possible? that you can have a coal billionaire voting to vote down a mining tax on the very people, on the very people um, his friends in the mining industry get off scot-free, and who pays? They have frozen the superannuation entitlement of ordinary working Australians for seven years so that over there in the corporate boardrooms of the mining industry they can drink their champagne. I'll bet they sit here and think what a great effort it was uh, for all those, uh, those years ago when they negotiated the, uh, the mining tax, uh, that they ran a, an advertising campaign, got it watered down, and then today Clive Palmer delivers for them. This is the Mr Palmer who is trying to open up a mega coal mine in Queensland in the Galilee Basin, the Waratah, the Waratah coal mine in the Galilee Basin, driving climate change. But do we care? No, apparently the Palmer United Party is very happy to abandon carbon pricing, another windfall gain. This is exactly what the Australian people, Mr Acting Deputy President, exactly what the Australian people were concerned about at the prospect of a mining billionaire coming in here and changing the law to facilitate a benefit to the big miners to the expense of ordinary working Australians. That is an absolute disgrace. And as for trying to pitch this as some kind of win, all that they're doing is delaying the abolition, delaying the abolition of the benefits that are here, whether it is uh, in terms of the school kids bonus or anything else. It is absolutely just delaying abolition. What the Greens are saying is we should be actually raising the money from the big miners in order to put it into health and education and benefits. But I just want to get to this area of superannuation again because this is critical. Why is it fair? Why is it fair that those in the public service and those in politics and in the Palmer United Party sit here and we get 15 per cent superannuation going into our retirement? But working people are still stuck there on nine, and we're going and saying seven years you can be frozen in that. Seven years you can put up with that so that BHP can, can actually pop the champagne cork. So Gina Reinhart can say, now I've got more profits I can push for the abolition of the minimum wage and do you in even further. That's where this is going. This country has become a plutocracy. That's what it's become. Democracy has gone out the window. This is a plutocracy, a government for the wealthy, by the wealthy. And we now have a deal in here with a, a coal-mining billionaire abolishing a tax on coal profits to benefit the big end of town for whom the Abbott government governs at the expense of ordinary people. Well, that is an absolute disgrace. And then to have it dumped in here as a deal and expect us to deal with it in this short time is completely wrong. We need the opportunity to scrutinise this. That's why it should be going uh, to the committee as has been proposed and as we are now debating. And whilst there will be big smiles in the Liberal Party rooms, no doubt, big smiles around the mining tables, big smiles for the Palmer United Party because the leader of the party has just locked in mega profits for himself so that he will never have to pay the mining tax. Let's make it very clear. This is a conflict of interest. If anyone in a boardroom was in the same position, they would be forced to leave the meeting. But we have got to a ridiculous stage in this parliament, in this country, where you can come in here and vote for your own financial self-interest in such a mega way. It is wrong. 
It is wrong, and it's why so many Australians are becoming disillusioned with the parliamentary process, because they look at this parliament and they say it's not these parliamentarians who are making the decisions, it's big Senator money Milne, at the big end of town.